In this video, we're gonna be creating a projection setup that's completely the opposite to what you're used to, so we can extend the frame and get the whole shot into one single projection image. This is Garrett Fry, a 3D DMP lead at the VFX Horde, and this is an excerpt from the Alleyway Sequence Training. Sequence trainings are a simulated VFX Studio training experience where you get to access footage, track cameras, and assets all within a VFX pipeline. The VFX Horde is here to fill in your skills and knowledge gaps that's holding you back from full-time VFX employment or moving forward in your career. Now on to the training. So now that we've confirmed that our projection camera setup is working, this is the overscan that we ended up with, which is a lot more than what we originally had. And we have all of this extra overscan because when we look through our shot here, you can see that over here on this side, this is the only part of this frame range that we see this area over here. So if we're gonna put garbage on that right hand side, you can see how this disappears as we move this way in our camera move. So this is the only spot. So this is the only frame that we can project at. However, we want to put in a little bit of a lip down here and projecting from this frame blocks off this area right here. So we could move it back and project from this frame, but then we lose out on that side of the frame and being able to put garbage back there. So the solution is to project from this frame and create more overscan, but then fill in this area here with the ground so we know how to paint in the bottom of this door. And we're gonna do that by taking our frame range, projecting it onto the geometry through the shot camera and then looking at it from our projection camera. So to do that, I'm going to take this projection setup over here that we have already set up, but I'm gonna switch a bunch of stuff around. I'm gonna take the frame range here, our shot, and I'm gonna plug it in as our projection image. I'm gonna take our shot camera and I'm gonna plug it in as our camera there. And then I'm gonna take our newly created projection camera and I'm gonna plug it in right there, okay? So we have our image, it has the lens undistort, it's going through our shot camera onto the geometry and we're looking at it through our projection camera. So let's take a look at this in 3D. So right now you can see that it, uh, it needs a shuffle node because there's no alpha channel in the plate. So let's go ahead and fill that. All right, so with this, you can see, let's just play this through. It's kind of a crazy effect, but what's happening is, is that every single frame is a projection image. And as the camera moves, the image sequence moves. And so you can see it kind of has this effect. So the cool thing about that is that if we see this rendered through our projection camera, then you can see if we start out here from our projection frame, that's the problem that we have. It cuts off the bottom of that door, includes that area. But if we move this way, then it's projecting that ground onto that geometry. And you can see, let's just go all the way over here to frame 1001. So, so the idea here is, is that we take this image, which is seen through our projection camera, and we put it on top of this guy right here. So we can actually combine those two. So we've got this guy and this guy. So we can combine those together and uh, fill out this area down here. So what I'm gonna do is merge these on top so we can get a preview of what that looks like. I'm going to uh, go over here to this reformat node. I'm gonna say black outside. And then I need to go back up here to our footage and just put a shuffle node in there and fill that with white so that it actually fills this with white and fills that with black. So we have a image that can be composited on top of our other image here. So we have our merge node and I am going to, uh, let's flip those and I'll put that right there, okay? So they don't line up. So what we do need to do is we're gonna grab this reformat node right here, and we're gonna pop it right here on the scanline render node. And then we're gonna set this to width. So it's gonna scale that. So now you can see, let's go to our merge node right here. 
and I'm just going to soft split between the two. So you can see there's our projection image put on top of this new projection set up right here, and it gives us this ground over here. So you can see that right there, which is kind of a cool solution. So now we know how to paint to this area, at least give us a reference of how to paint to that area. If this is not lining up, then it could be that our projection geometry is off. So the height or the distance from the camera could be off. But I think from this frame, I think that's good enough. So if we do need to come back and make sure things align perfectly, then we may need to really make sure that ground hits exactly where it does in the film footage. But for right now, I think that's perfect for what we need. Creating this opposite projection setup where we're using the shot camera as the projector and our footage image sequence as the projection images that's projecting onto our geometry gives us the ability to extend our plate and gives us everything we need in a single projection. Thanks for watching. For more training videos, head over to vfxhoard.com.